for those who have watched our uh, videos in the past or tuned into our blog, you have noticed that over the summertime we released the Inflow EPDM Web Access Tool, a uh, web interface or web connection to the Enterprise PDM Vault. Um, this particular web application is browser independent and allows users to navigate the Enterprise PDM Vault either as viewers or as contributors to access the data in their vault from, uh, from the browser. Uh, we've received a lot of questions though on what's really the differences between this application and the application that comes from SOLIDWORKS uh, uh, with your um, EPDM licenses. So the purpose of this video is just to go through the, uh, a quick um, snapshot of the differences. Um, what's on the screen right now is the Inflow Web Access tool and you'll see that there's a dashboard um, when you first log into the tool. Uh, I'll quickly jump over to the, um, the SOLIDWORKS version just so you get a feel for the differences in the original screen as you log in and really the purposes of the two applications. Um, we're in Internet Explorer. Um, for the um, uh, SOLIDWORKS version, you really can only be in Internet Explorer because it uses a plugin that's really built inside of Internet Explorer. Um, that's one of the primary differences you'll notice right away is that it's uh, the Inflow tool is browser independent and could be used on mobile devices and iPads, things like that. Um, the SOLIDWORKS version is in integrated into Internet Explorer only. Uh, when you log in, uh, in both applications, you have to log in to authenticate against the um, uh, against your you know, your uh, credentials, and also um, you're browsing the you know the familiar green folders. And one of the things that's interesting about the SOLIDWORKS version is that they give you these different portals into the vault. So. As an administrator, you can set up a specific portal just for a certain group of people. So I could switch to, let's say, engineering, and it would only show me what's available for engineering. And I could switch to sales, and it could then only show me just that folder that's exposed to the sales team, regardless of my permissions. So you, you can be very specific about what you make available to people. Um, another key difference is um, is that the SOLIDWORKS version of the tool is designed to be um, uh, pushed outside of your company's firewall. Uh, it has the proper um, encryption so that it's available to uh, or can be made available to suppliers and to field services or field sales, that kind of thing. So that's one of the primary differences as well, is that the inflow tool is really set up to be internal and doesn't have that layer of security uh, at least out of the box that, that the SOLIDWORKS tool has. Um, in addition to um, uh, in addition to that, the, really the purposes are different, are set up to be different. For example, the SOLIDWORKS uh, tool, um, because it is really just basically browse and search, um, it really doesn't have the capability to view files built into it. So one of the things we originally uh, will get asked is, um, is, is to install the SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM Web Viewer. And a lot of people think web, they think viewer. Well, the SOLIDWORKS tool is really not a viewer. It's really meant to be a contributor. And so when you log into it, it's going to take a contributor or an editor license from your active pool. Uh, and you can check out and check in from here. You can double click and it will actually download the file local to your PC and allow you to open it up in whatever, whatever application you have installed. In many cases, people use eDrawings or maybe native SOLIDWORKS. Uh, but whatever the case is, you're actually uh, you're downloading it to your PC and then opening it, essentially. You can also add files in here just by dragging and dropping, and you can check them in and participate in workflows and, um, and activate various searches. And it'll like bring up the actual search card so you can search for actual information. And because it is using an EPDM active client here embedded, you can even access things like the data card. Uh, so it's a really nice tool if you're going to participate in the design process as a supplier, especially because they can make it available outside the firewall. Uh, one of the downsides, though, of course, is that you have to be tied into, uh, you know, the company you're connecting to, you have to be tied into their EPDM directly. Um, this, uh, this downloads a plugin, so it has to install something locally on your PC. And that installation... Um, um, the version of the EPDM client that you download. Uh, if you have EPDM as a company as well and you're a supplier, it would have to match your customer. So that's part of the downside. 
and then again it's really um, uh, it's really not meant to be a viewer so if you're looking for a viewer you may want to go a little bit different route um, and that's part of the reason why we released the inflow APDM web uh, the, the EPDM web access and it's essentially uh, you know you can browse things the same way so when we browse around we can just browse through folders just the same it leaves a little breadcrumb along the top but we can basically go right into you know the same folders and look at the same files um, what's a little bit different once you're in here is that uh, you know as you click on a file it does have an embedded viewer so it's going to launch you know an eDrawings uh, embedded viewer here uh, if it was Google uh, Chrome or Firefox or something like that or if you're loading this on a Mac uh, it would not have an embedded eDrawings here um, the embedded eDrawings is really only Internet Explorer but what it would do is it would detect that and allow you to download and open into your eDrawings for Mac or eDrawings for iPad or whatever the case is. So you would have to download it in those situations. Um, but otherwise, you could just view it right through here if you had Internet Explorer on a PC. Um, searching for files is basically um, uh, pretty simple. So the idea really is that this is meant for people looking to search view print. It only is going to give you the latest version, so it's very simple for um, shop floor personnel uh, to use and then you're not really uh, you're not installing components on your PC just for doing searching you know other things like PDFs things like that are going to come up in here um, uh, nicely as well and when you click on those it's just going to use you know Adobe preview built right in so it's certainly better designed for um, mass deployment and really getting viewing out to your internal team, shop floor personnel, purchasing, things like that. Um, now the tool can also be configured to be connected to a contributor um, so that you can upload files and, down, and, uh, and add files and change state, things like that. Uh, but where we've seen the most interest so far is, the, uh, is in the viewing side of things. Uh, and with that, hopefully that provides a little bit of uh, insight into the differences between the tool to help uh, make better decisions. And uh, look for new videos uh, uh, explaining more uh, details in the future.